what do you do when you arrive someplace and you are still where you were and not where you're at or you're somewhere out in the future instead of being in the moment how do you get yourself back into the present because it's important first of all i think that's a, an astute observation because a lot of us don't know that we're not here and so this idea of wisdom begins in wonder and understanding that the way out is always through it's an opportunity to look at this process we're engaged in of figuring out how to live this thing called life how to not just survive but how to thrive and it's interesting i rediscovered a book that i read 40 years ago and this book was on the new york times best seller list for 10 years it's called the road less traveled by m scott peck and that book starts off life is difficult it sounds like the buddha <laughs> first noble truth and so the idea is we have to understand that and he did that on purpose it was intentional because he works as a psychiatrist psychotherapist and for some reason people have this notion that life should be easy or that we should be happy all the time and the reality of the situation is it's a full spectrum and so when i was thinking about giving this talk i was very interested in this idea of open heart open mind and so why is that important because wisdom begins in wonder and it requires us to be able to see things in new and fresh ways because if we don't we end up not being present and still being where we were but we start bringing in all of our previous experiences so that when we observe things we are actually observing things through the lens of the past and the idea is especially if you're going to understand things seek to understand is being able to see things in new and fresh ways because things are changing i don't know if you noticed that or not but things are changing that's one of the things that get us stuck or get us caught is we have this idea that things shouldn't change and so for some of us we have a real difficulty with death aging and illness we act like they're not supposed to happen but they happen and so part of this process of being able to observe things or what i like to say embrace life say yes to it and then generate the hope and then make choices that are wise choices and so is it possible for us to say yes to suffering and at the same time we can embrace it and have fulfillment or actually be able to have a great life to have a joyful life to have a wonderful life in spite of the death the aging and the illness and just the idea of things changing